my name is Matt Folk and I'm president and CEO of the Purdue for Life Foundation. I'm honored to be here today to help present your Purdue University class rings. This is an exceptional honor for me for an exceptional class and I'm humbled to be part of it. You have been through an incredible year of ups and downs. Just because we've been through more than your share of challenges, don't underplay your triumphs, savor them. You've proven yourself in unparalleled ways and you have shown that you are ready to go on to a remarkable future. Because of you, we know for certain that our future is going to be just a little bit brighter. If you're new to Purdue for Life, you're not alone. Although Purdue for Life is a new organization, we're veterans of the Purdue community. Purdue for Life was established earlier this year in March as a way to bring together a number of organizations from across campus so that we can better coordinate our efforts. Together, we're incorporating the Purdue Alumni Association and the University Development Office, which includes the President's Council and John Purdue Club and is responsible for all university fundraising. We're very pleased and excited to serve Purdue in a new and innovative ways to better connect with you, the Purdue community, from your graduation and throughout your career. The bottom line is that we're working to ensure that moving forward, your contact point with the university is straightforward and streamlined. In 2020, change is obviously the key word. Change has been a key theme for many of us across Purdue this year for a whole host of obvious reasons. No matter what the obstacles are in your way, nothing will stop Boilermakers from paving the way towards a better future. Too much is simply at stake. Your experience has prepared you to join a workforce that's hungry for talent, that's flexible and adaptable. You are something truly invaluable to um, employers, whatever sector you're in. You've been through an incredible number of challenges this year. While this isn't the way anyone would have spent their final semesters at Purdue, you've done an incredible job rolling with the punches. While other universities simply chose to give up and shut down in-person classes before even beginning the semester, you've put an incredible effort into this fall to ensure that in-person classes would continue as long as possible. And we made it through the entire semester. You've proved the cynics and the naysayers wrong. You should be tremendously proud of what you've done to help protect Purdue this semester. My deepest hope is that you'll carry this belief in yourself forward with you through all the future endeavors that you tackle. You are capable of incredible things and you have proven that throughout this past year. Through everything we've been through, Purdue has done a lot to show our students, alum, and our faculty are ready to meet the challenges thrown at us in a challenging world. That's no surprise. You probably already know that. And guess what? The world's taken notice too. That's why Purdue is consistently ranked as one of the top five most innovative universities in the entire country. Everything you've done to show your adaptability just goes to prove how invaluable you are to future employers. We need innovators like you to help us through the challenges that may come to help us overcome any and all obstacles in our way to pave the way forward for a brighter future for all of us. Today, as we present your class rings in this virtual ceremony, it's also worth a moment to take some note of the changes that the ring has been through over the decades, including the evolution of the Purdue seal, which dates back over 130 years. The first seal was designed by Bruce Rogers, class of 1890, and the particular design emphasizes the Purdue curriculum. Over the years, the seal has continued to change and evolve. Rogers actually designed the second seal as well. This one appeared on the cover of the Exponent in October of 1894 and included an introduction of Caduceus uh, representing the new school of pharmacy. Half a century later, Rogers was still a part of the Purdue community. He even designed the school's seventh seal. While President Hovde didn't adopt that particular seal from Rogers, Rogers was internationally recognized for his work in type and book design. You can find many of the original works in Purdue's archives and special collections editions in the Purdue Library System. Fast forward to 1968 and we arrive at the ninth and current seal design created by Al Gowen, who was a professor in the School of Creative Arts. Gowen thought the seal should represent the three permanent aims of the university, education, research, and service. As you head into the world, your Purdue degree represents a rigorous education that has prepared you for a life of research and for service. We're counting on you to help maintain and grow Purdue's reputation throughout the world. 
By carrying forward the university's legacy, you are showing the world what it means to be a Boilermaker. It means not waiting on the sidelines to see which way the wind blows. It means getting your hands dirty. It means showing grit. It means taking decisive actions as you work in persistent pursuit of the next giant leap. No matter the obstacles, no matter the effort, that's who we are. We are Boilermakers. And by wearing a Purdue class ring, you're really putting yourself out there whenever you walk into a boardroom, whenever you walk into a meeting, whenever you walk into an interview. You're simply showing the world who you are and you're staking Purdue's reputation on that. I purchased my senior class ring uh, part way through my first semester of my senior year and have worn it proudly ever since. Uh, it has started many conversations in my previous careers as I traveled around the world and the great thing that always came from those conversations was what a wonderful reputation Purdue has as an outstanding university on frankly a worldwide basis. I got these same comments whether I was in Europe in the Far East or in South America. At Purdue for Life, our mission is simply to deepen alumni ties to the university and drive and coordinate all alumni related activities. Whatever lies ahead of you for all your personal and professional journey, we look forward to working with you to help make it possible through continuing education and engagement opportunities with the university. Purdue for Life is proud to welcome you to a family, and we are a family, of more than 575,000 alumni across the world. Hail Purdue, boiler up, and hammer down. Hello, my name is Beth McCuskey and I'm the Vice Provost for Student Life here at Purdue and it is just an honor to congratulate each and every one of you at this ring ceremony. This ceremony is such an important part of your experience here at Purdue because you're, you're hitting a milestone. I, I, you've celebrated your accomplishments and you are well on your way to becoming Purdue graduates and Purdue alumni. So it's just so exciting to take this little moment and pause and celebrate all that you've accomplished thus far. I thought today we'd talk a little bit about some of the things that are really near and dear to my heart, things that I think will uh, are, are helpful for all of us, including our students. Uh, a couple years ago, we put together a program called Steps to Leaps. And Steps to Leaps is really about building resiliency and um, and our well-being skills. And I think for all of us, particularly right now in times of COVID, these skill sets are so, 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 so crucial. So I wanted to talk just very quickly about Steps to Leaps as a refresher for some of you and maybe brand new to others um, in terms of what this program's about, but then turn around and tie it to the, the act of getting your class ring and, and all that that symbolizes. So Steps to Leaps is really um, founded on five main pillars. The first is well-being and and that really ties to the general sense of being well in body brain and spirit right all of those things that create the whole person the second component is our leadership and and how do we develop as leaders um, leadership is a journey it is not something that you check the box after you take the leadership class it is something that you learn sometimes through trial and error sometimes making really really good leadership decisions at other times maybe not so um, and that's true for every single one of us in our lives and so that leadership piece that continual growth is such an important part of your purdue experience and something that you can take beyond we also want to uh, talk a little bit about the importance of impact and making a big impact. I think college students today are just so uh, de desirous of making big impacts in the world. Um, what will your career uh, do for the world at large, right? How do you deploy in, in, in enormous ways to make big impacts? But we also want to talk a little bit and step back and celebrate those small impacts. Uh, the things that you can do every single day, maybe it's being kind to somebody holding a door for somebody, running an errand for somebody, just those tiny little things that really, really, really can make a difference in other people's lives. Both of those impacts, the great impacts like Neil Armstrong walking on the moon and those small impacts, those kindness, those little things that you do every day really, really make a difference. Next, uh, Steps to Leaps involves networks. And sometimes when we talk about networks, people think we're talking about networking or working a room, right? I do not want to downplay that skill set. It's an important skill set. But networks are far, far more than that. It's about the, the rich tapestry of people that you have in your corner kind of rooting for you and being allies with you and helping you through 
thick and thin, being your peers, your your mentors, people who are there to help you out. And having a good network also means helping them out, right? It's paying it forward. It's helping others along the way on their own journeys. And this give and take with other humans is really what helps us move forward as a society. It's such an important part and an important skill set to have. And then finally, it's, you know, all of us have our moments. We have our moments where things don't work out as we plan. Sometimes it's mistakes we made in terms of our own work or, or how we approach something. And sometimes it's just life as a whole throws us a curveball. It's so crucial to have that grit, right? That ability to pick up when things aren't working out to our advantage. So today I thought we could talk a little bit about, you know, how do these themes tie in? How do we amplify these themes as, as students and later as alumni? And, and fundamentally, how does this work with the concept of a class ring? So the ring itself, the ring that you are about to receive is really symbolic of your journey. You have reached a milestone. You have put in the work and you have been successful and you are well on your way to being a Purdue alumni and graduate. And this ring will continually symbolize your connection to Purdue University. But there are other aspects about this ring that I think are important. First, the ring as, as it stands is, is a strong piece of jewelry, right? It is made of metal um, and that strength is also important. And it also, it, it's continuous, right? If you look at the ring as a symbol, it is a continuous circle, right? And that, you know, what goes before and what comes after and how all those things fit together is an important part of, of you know, your Purdue experience and life experience as a whole. So I just want to chat a little bit about those couple things and, and then how they tie back into the Steps to Leaps themes. First of all, the connection to Purdue University, um, that ring that you have um, or you will soon receive is a total um, reflection of Purdue. It speaks loud and clear that you are a Boilermaker and that is a beautiful thing. And as you progress through life and look down at that ring on your finger, you will always remember being part of this Boilermaker family. I think for many of us, that means the happy times, right? The times where you spend with friends, the times where you've learned and grown, the time where you figured out exactly what you wanted to be in life, right? All of those happy times that, that are culminations of your college experience are reflected in that ring. But that ring also symbolizes those rough times, right? It wasn't all happy and we know that, that's life as a whole. And so what did you learn from those rough times and how did you become who you are because of them? That's all tied up into this beautiful ring as well. And finally, you're here today because you have had an amazing work, work ethic. You are successful because of your hard work. And that ring is a symbol of all of that. As you think about the ring being metal and that strength of it being metal, that, that reflects back on you too. It reflects on the bonds that you've created, the strong bonds that will last your lifetime. It reflects on your own capacity to be successful, to, to work hard, to, to do all that you can do, uh, that you've built yourself as leaders and will continue through the rest of your life. And again, just that rebounding period. Um, we're in a tough time right now with COVID and every one of you should be commended for all of your efforts to make this work. It has not been easy. And I think as you know, one of the classes that have been here on this campus during this difficult time, as you're reflecting back as 50 year alumni, right? You will recognize the importance of what you've lived through and how it created the strength in you because that's crucial. And then finally, the ring is round, right? It is a circle, it is ring shaped, it is a ring. And that is a that symbolizes that continuity, right? How things come and they go and they tie together in kind of life's continuous loops and circles. Um, your experiences here have been, they're grounded in our past. You, we all stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before, back to 1869 when we founded this phenomenal institution. And so the ring is reflective of that, of those who've gone before and have created these opportunities that you've enjoyed today. It also reflects that continuity of life, right? Purdue is for life. You will always have Purdue to fall back upon and we hope that you'll tap back into the rich resources here as you need to look at new skills in the future, for example, or tie back to your alumni and colleagues that you've met here as, um, as friends to help uh, advance in the future and, and vice versa, helping those later students do the same thing.
And again, those connections to those who come after you. As alumni, that is a responsibility is to kind of pay it forward and, and look back at those um, Purdue folks that are still in school and how can you help them advance into the careers and, and just be there as allies and friends for them moving forward. I think that's especially true right now, uh, particularly with our brand new students. As older students, you've had the experiences of a normal Purdue set of experiences, right? You've been able to make friends in your classes. You've been able to engage in activities and leadership development. Um, our new students, maybe not so much. And, and we want to be reaching out and helping them to, to recognize that Purdue is far more than and you know, the, the fall semester that they had here. So anything you can do, this is a call to action, I guess, anything you can do is helpful too. So as I wrap up, I just wanna, again, thank you all for all of the efforts that you've put into your own experiences. You are here to celebrate today. You have a little ways to go yet, but you have made it this far. Congratulations, Boilermakers. Purdue is for life. You're experiencing that at this moment in time. I wish you an amazing rest of your college journey and much, much, much success in the future. Hail Purdue. Congratulations on acquiring a Purdue ring. Thank you for choosing to do so. We hope you'll wear it not just here, but uh, for a very long time, and that each time you do, it'll remind you that Purdue wants to be an asset to you, an important part of your life forever. Thank you once again. Boiler up. <laughs>